put your faith to work. The challenges are stepping stones to greatness. Don't let these little challenges discourage you now. Learn to put your faith to work. In this church, we practice Jesus. We talk about him. We also practice the supernatural power that he has given to us. We are not weakling. Devils don't intimidate us and we cry or run back to the devil. We don't do that in this church. We fight devils because our Jesus is a mighty man of war. Give him a wave of rain. Wave your hands like you mean it. Let me see you wave those hands. Thank him, I appreciate him for all he has done. Jesus, we thank you. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for your grace. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Let me see you wave those hands like you mean it. In Jesus' mighty name. And God bless you richly. I want you to turn your Bible to the book of Galatians. Galatians 2.20. I want us to take it together. One, two, go. I am. Okay, I want us to take it now like we mean it. One, two, go. Again, I am crucified with Christ. I live. When Christ lives in me, the life I am living in the flesh, I live by the faith of Jesus who loved me and died for me. Did you understand it now? You were crucified with Christ. You resurrected with Christ. The night of enthronement it's all about the resurrection power of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Jesus died, and you also died with him. Died to sin, died to oppression, died to slavery of the devils. Died to hardship. Poverty, died to sicknesses, deprivation, stagnation, died to depression. What have you been going through? Died to singlehood, died to whatever name they call it. See, if you don't believe or you don't see it, it will not work. You must believe it and see it. You must see it. When Jesus was crucified, I was crucified with him. I was crucified. And is this season, Jesus, I was crucified with him. I died with him. And I resurrected with him. Say the name of Jesus. When Jesus was crucified, I was crucified with him. I died with him. Died to failure. Dead to failure. Dead to disappointment. Dead to sicknesses. Dead to hardship. Dead to stagnation. Dead to poverty. When he resurrected, I resurrected with him to newness in my marriage, in my finances, in my health, in my career, in my life. 
You get it now, right? That is the enthronement. This is the re enthronement. The resurrection power of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. It's what happens every year in the spirit realm. But if you are not aware of it, the year will still pass. So that is why I've been teaching you about it. It's not about program. There is a grace that Jesus always released at this time of the year. I told you in some part of the world, Satan celebrated the death of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. He's not celebrating it for good. He's celebrating it to mock him, that he killed him. Knowing fully well that Jesus actually came to die, not that Satan killed him, no. He had to pay the price. He was always saying it, that I must give my life to save the world. He said he is the good shepherd. The good shepherd at times will die for the flocks. So it's not that Satan really killed him. That is what he came to do. Jesus came on a mission to die for us to be free. If Satan had known that by Jesus dying and resurrection will be more powerful than the devil, Satan wouldn't have killed him. They didn't know. They never knew the resurrection is the thing. That is the main thing. That is the power, not the birth of Jesus. Not when he was born. Not when he died. When he died is good because his blood on that cross washes away all washes away all what? All sins. What I'm teaching you is a deep secret. It's a very deep one. Many men of God don't know it. They celebrate the birth of Jesus more when he was born on Christmas Day. But that, that, that is not the thing. The main thing is his death and resurrection. When he died, we died with him. Died to sin. Death to every form of oppression that we have been going through. When he resurrected, we also resurrected a newness, into newness with him. Hence the enthronement. Can you celebrate grace? I will turn your Bible to the book of Matthew, Matthew 28. Matthew 28. I'll take my reading from verse 1. In the end of the Sabbath, as it began to dawn towards the first day of the week, came Mary Magdalene and the other Mary to see the tomb, which is the grave. And behold, there was a great earthquake. Earthquake. For the angel of the Lord descended from heaven and came and rolled back the stone from the door and sat upon it. The angel of God came down to roll the blockade. The blockade they used to block him that he cannot resurrect. Devils were suspecting that it's like this guy will really resurrect. Let's block the grave. Just like you. They are suspecting that ah, we tied her womb. We also tied her marriage. We tied her money. But it's like, it's like what we have done is not enough. What else do we do? It's like she's going to blow. Let's do more. Could all what they've done to stop you they are still seeing that you must be successful. And you, you are wailing, you are complaining. No money, no hope, no relationship. How can I get married? No relationship yet. But the enemies have seen the star that a husband is coming and you are going to USA. 
So they are doing everything to frustrate you the more. You came to church on a church bus and you are complaining badly. But the enemies are even laughing at you. They are afraid of you because they know you, you will break through. They've done everything to stop you. Yet they are still seeing your light. Your star is still shining. Now he has a very bright future. It's like we cannot stop him. How do we stop him? Let's do more. So they brought the stone to block the tomb and the angel of God came and took away the stone and seated on top of it. The angel, his countenance, that is everything about what he's wearing, was like lightning. I've taught you this thing before, but I, I, I'm trying to repeat it so you understand. It was thunder, right? Like when you see thunder, lightning, that was how the body of the angel was like. And his clothes was shining white as snow. White thunder was all over his body. Can I have the next verse? And for fear, the soldiers and the keepers of the grave became as dead men. They were shaking. I'm trying to tell you what you are going through, how bad your situation is, how you have been caged, your marriage is caged, your children are caged, your education is caged, your health is caged, and they are happy that you can never succeed, you can never have the child, you can never make money, the enemies are happy. I, I, I just want to illustrate how God will set you free today. I just want to illustrate, you see. The angel came to roll away the stone and his countenance was lightning, thunder. And the angel answered and said unto the women, Mary and the other Mary, Mary Magdalene and the other one. And the angel said, Fear not ye, for I know that ye seek Jesus, which was crucified. Is there anybody here that was crucified? Are you sure you were crucified? If you were crucified, let me see your hands. Were you really crucified with Jesus? Am I making sense at all? I told you that if you don't know, it will not work. If you don't know this thing, the Easter will just come and go. You say, Easter, hey, Easter, hey, Easter. <laughs> Meanwhile, the Easter season is a time of power. The Easter season is a time of breakthrough. The Easter season is when God sets, Jesus sets free the lawful captives and the unlawful captives. Free! But if you don't know, it will just be like a normal day. Normal day. Very normal. And the angel said, he is not here for his reason. As he said, come, see the place where they kept him. The angel was not showing the ladies Come and see where they kept him in the tomb. Look at the place now. Look at it. He's no more here. He has gone. He didn't live with the clothes that they used to bury him. The clothes were still there intact. The way they used it to wrap all his body. You know the Jewish way of burying people, they will wrap the person everywhere. The clothes were still there like that. You will know that they didn't lose this thing. You cannot fake it. But his body was not there. Mark you, when the women got there, Mary Magdalene and Co., the tomb, the giant stone has not been removed, right? The stone was still there. It was in their presence. 
the angel came and rolled away the stone. Jesus has gone since. They didn't even know. There are a lot of you, you have been set free since. You have been set free. You have been set free. Oh, some other prayer we will just pray uh, to build your faith. There are some of you that have been set free. Many of you have left. You have left, you have left that bondage, that limitation, that deprivation, that stagnation, that barrenness. You have left that place far, far, far. You have already breakthrough. Is the truth. But the angel had to roll away the stone for them to believe and for the enemies to also see it that they roll away the stone. Oh, only one angel, one angel. Tell somebody one angel. Do you know how many people that rolled that stone to block the tomb? They were more than 500 because it was a great stone. But just an angel, one angel got there. His body is torn down. Rolled away the stone. Can you celebrate Jesus? <laughs> celebrate your freedom. Celebrate your testimony. Celebrate your greatness. You will not understand. The angel rolled away the stone. And he told the ladies, come and look. Come see. Jesus has gone. He has been released since. Jesus has gone far. Just go now. Go and meet Peter. And meet the other apostles. What he has directed you. Just go and do it. And the first word, I just want us to read on. Can I have the next verse? The angel in the verse 7 said, And go quickly and tell his disciples that he is risen from the dead. You see the word? They didn't say from the grave. Huh? You see the way they constructed the Bible? It's supposed to be from the grave. But they said from the dead. You know what they call the dead? The dead is failure. The dead is poverty. The dead is sicknesses. The dead is barrenness. The dead is no marriage. The dead is failure. He said, go, tell the disciples that he has risen from the dead. They are not talking about grave here. They are talking about you. Jesus has risen from the dead. And behold, he goeth before you into Galilee. There shall ye see him. The angel said, I have told you. Go. Can I have the next verse? Verse 8. And they left quickly from the tomb with fear and great joy. Fear of the angel and what has happened. Great joy because the Lord has risen and did run to bring the disciples the good news. Now the next verse. And as they went to tell his disciples, you know, as they went to tell his disciples, Jesus, behold, Jesus met them. If you read the Bible carefully, Jesus was more caring to the ladies than the men. If you read the Bible very well, Jesus was more caring to ladies than men. He didn't marry. He never had any woman in his 33 years. But he was more caring to the ladies. If you read the Bible very well, Jesus introduced himself, who he really is, to a lady. He never told any man. The first person he told was a lady. By the way, a Samaritan lady. Jesus always cared more for ladies. As they were leaving, 
he came and appeared to them. And can I have the scripture? I want us to see it. And, and behold, Jesus met them, met the ladies and said, All hey! He said, All hey. The first word that came from his mouth was, All, all hey. Yet, there was really not much to rejoice about. To the disciples, there was no, nothing much to rejoice about because they have not started seeing the power yet. But yet he said, all hail. There are some of you here now that uh, we have prayed for for this program. Even Prophet Jeremiah has come to pray for. And it's like things have not started working. Don't bother yourself. Celebrate. Rejoice. He told you, say, give yourself one month, at most two months, at the worst three months. Say, you must shout the shout of victory. You must shout the shout of victory in the name of Jesus. In your marriage, prepare to shout the shout of victory. In your finances, prepare to shout the shout of victory. You must shout the shout of victory. In your ministry, shout the shout of victory. In your finances, shout the shout of victory. In the name of Jesus. See, I have seen a lot. A sister in this church, some years ago, went to another sister's marriage. Let's say three years to four years now. Three years. At the marriage... It was after a program like this. She just finished school. And at that sister's marriage, as she was going back home, she said, God, no man in my life. I'm a young girl, beautiful, but no man at all. Suddenly she started hearing a horn. Pom 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 pom. She turned. So this boy is just start again. The horn was still following her. And Okada Rider now says, Sister, wait. Not be you that they call. Now you that they call. Answer that person. She was still going. It's like the Holy Spirit now said, Stop. I beg, stop. Answer that car. She then turned. She said, I don't reach my house. The young man said, Hop in. I will drop you. And the young man, she entered in her own street and they dropped her. And the young man collected her number and left. Devil struck. The guy forgot the number, misplaced the number. He started searching, searching. Hey, I would like to see this guy. Somehow he ran it. He started calling all the people that called him. Eh? You can just see how God works. As I speak, they are married with children. They are here. Oh. Eh? Married. We're dead. In short, she has her own car. No hope. Do you know what they call God. He make ways where there are no... You don't have to be in a relationship before you marry. You don't have to have anything doing before you become a millionaire. You might not have a job, but you must shout the shout of victory. See, the doctors might be saying a different thing, but you shall shout the shout of victory in the name of Jesus. You shall shout the shout of victory. You shall shout the shout of victory. Prepare to shout the shout of victory. In the name of Jesus. Enough is enough. Enough is what? See. People might not be succeeding in your family. My family used to be worse than yours. But I stood my ground that I must succeed. And I so much believe in God that me, me, I must succeed. I don't know if there is any stubborn person that is very stubborn for Jesus. As a young man, I could pray to daybreak. Guy man, no. 
You, I hide that part. You will never know I could pray. So I don't sleep outside. I don't visit friends anyhow. I will just enter my room. I pray today break. Because I knew that my life must change. Then, there were no powerful churches like this to help us. No powerful churches. We will just go to the normal orthodox church. They will just go, ah, ah, ah. we go home. There were no powerful churches. Now you have powerful, powerful churches. See, you must shout the shout of victory. You must shout the shout of victory in the name of Jesus. Put my Jesus to test. This grace is active. And the most powerful prophet in the whole world has come to join us. I don't understand. I know you don't understand. I said this grace is active. And the most powerful man of God in the whole world, God has brought him to join us. You shall surely shout the shout of victory. In the name of Jesus. Go and mark today. Mark today. Go and mark it. Even if you don't have a job, you don't have a house, you don't have anything doing, put my Jesus to test. When you get home, eh, mark it today. Then give yourself 30 days in the calendar. You mark it again. Huh? Then you say phase one. Phase one. Say phase one. Phase one. 30 days. You mark it. God bless you. Mark it. Just give. What I'm telling you, eh? Even you that does not have anything doing, it is you God wants to bless the most. Yeah. Can I hear someone saying, but I don't have anything doing, no. Everything is failing. God bless you richly. Everything is failing. It is you God wants to bless the most. Yeah. Men will make money and give to you. Yeah. They will reveal their secrets to you. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. They will have opportunities and give it to you. Do you know what they call the resurrection power? It's the power to break through. The extra supernatural power to break through. Viewers all over the world. Today is not a normal Sunday. Today is the day that we practice the resurrection power of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. The power he has given us to break through, to destroy the works of the devil and to shine. When a prophet says the word, they always come to pass. Last year, November, I told you that the Lord said 2024, it's our year of celebration. Are we celebrating already? As a church, are we celebrating? Are you celebrating? The word of God must come to pass in your life. In the name of Jesus. God's word must come to pass in your life. In the name of Jesus, prepare to celebrate. You must share the shout of victory. You must share the shout of victory. You must share the shout of victory. Lady Hebos, Kelide Bush, Ragebos, Kalandis, Lady Hebos. My lady has seen. Your level has changed. I said your level has changed. 
Say, I receive my instrument. I receive my instrument. I receive my instrument. I, I must move forward and upward. Forward. Upward. Forward. Upward. In every area of my life. Upward. 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 Forward. 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 